Okay, so here we have the first uh, dyno test. Uh, unfortunately, the Vulcan cycling dyno that we have only works with a 24 inch wheel or larger. Um, we're going to be rectifying this in the near future, but for now, Peter, who's in charge of most of the electronics, is going to be holding the dyno uh, while we run the motor uh, and drivetrain from a complete standstill. So this is the first dyno test of 2017. So starting from a complete standstill uh, with the dyno on the largest amount of friction, we're now going to start off. So that's only pulling one amp right now. 1.75 amps. Five amps. And up. And uh, that was with the wheel spinning on the dyno. Okay, so that's the car starting from a standstill. We'll have a look at the uh, current pull right now. So you can see, it's only pulling 4.5 amps and doing 18 kilometers per hour. Now, that dyno level is indicative of driving, of riding up a hill not on flat ground. So when we actually change the level of friction, as I'll do right now to being on flat ground, we can see that the car gets much faster and current is now down to only 2 amps. 1.9 amps at 33.6 kilometers per hour. So that's the first test of the car on the dyno.